the Colt King Cobra. Colt has made a lot of incredible firearms since it's been in business. But the Colt King Cobra and the Colt Python are just incredible revolvers. One thing that Colt is really known for is its high quality finishes. And this is a beautifully finished revolver. The King Cobra is a medium framed double action revolver in 357 Magnum. This particular King Cobra has the two and a half inch barrel. It did come in a number of different barrel lengths and finishes and we're going to talk about each one but these were introduced in 1986 and then production ceased in 1992. Then in 94 it was started up again and then ended in 98 and has not uh, started back again. The value on these revolvers is just unbelievable. Uh, I remember when they were running around the 300, 350 range. Now they're at the thousand to twelve hundred dollar range, if you can find them. Now it is considered a double action revolver. And before we check that out, we're going to look at the cylinder, make sure the gun is unloaded, and it is single action. You can pull the hammer back. Double action revolvers. That means that when you pull the trigger, it actuates the hammer, and of course, it does. One thing that Colt is really known for is its really smooth trigger pulls, and this one is no exception. It does hold six rounds in the cylinder. It is very beefy, very heavy duty, but if you're firing full house 357 Magnum loads, you'll appreciate it. One of the things about the Cobra, and Colt in particular, is its their cylinder release, and it's pulling it back. Smith & Wesson, Ruger, Charter Arms, all the different ones, Taurus, have a push forward cylinder release. And this is a rear. It's a really beautiful design. And of course, it's one of the ways that you can identify it being a Colt, but even more so, just right below it, is the Colt symbol. King Cobra, right on the barrel. Just a beautiful gun. Of course, it does have very nice sights, uh, fully adjustable rear sights, then an insert in the front, high visibility. Really nice sights for a short barreled revolver. This is not something you're going to conceal very easily though. Even though it's medium framed, it's pretty substantial. Of course it is in 357 Magnum as I've said, but it, you can also of course shoot 38 specials in here, especially for training, target, and if you just want a little less recoil. 38 special is a little less expensive. Now the King Cobra was based on the, the model before the previous model, the Trooper Mark V. And some of the things that changed from this from the Mark V is that it has a heavier barrel. It also has a heavier barrel rib on the top and that really shows when you have longer longer length barrels. It also has a fully enclosed shroud around the ejector rod and this gives a lot of strength to the ejector rod as you can see and it protects it. Now this is stainless steel. The blued versions are a high grade carbon steel. This is a basic matte finish stainless. It did come in a bright stainless which is just almost like a mirror finish. And then the blue is actually a high polished deep royal blue. Colt really has exceptional finishes on their firearms. It was offered in not only the rubber grip but also on the walnut grip. And as you can see this is a factory grip set on this revolver with the Colt logo. Now the barrel lengths are two inches and then this is a two and a half inch. It also had a four inch barrel, a six inch barrel, and an eight inch barrel. And between blue and stainless and bright stainless the barrel lengths varied and year of manufacture. Now this revolver is shown weighs two pounds and five ounces. Of course with more barrel length you're going to have added weight and that is unloaded. It is a very substantial and heavy pistol, but buddy, when it's in your hand, you know it. Now the Colt King Cobra is one that I would shoot, but I would hold on to it because these revolvers are going to continue to go up in value. What's really funny is the King Cobra was more of the economy model and then the Python was more of a finely finished revolver. And those revolvers are out of sight. But anything Colt really holds its value and then increases its value with age. The Colt King Cobra is an excellent revolver, great to shoot, very sturdy, very strong, and yet very finely finished. And if you ever come across one in a good price, I would take it and I would hold on to it. Better than money in the bank. Of course, the Colt King Cobra was made right here in the USA.
And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Feel lucky? Make my day. Punk.